Hey guys, it's Chris from Steedhead, and today we're gonna to talk about S550 Mustangs, and specifically, which S550 is the most bang for your buck, depending on your driving style. So without further ado, let's get to it. This video would be incredibly short if we were to only choose one S550. I really don't think it would give it justice considering there are tons of different trim levels available that you can choose depending on your driving style. And in addition to that, the current car market right now, whether it's new cars, used cars, everything in between, prices are absolutely all over the place and we don't want to make this video outdated super quickly. So we're gonna go ahead and leave those out of this video. But outside of that, the first one, your best budget S550 Mustang. So if you're on a tight budget, but you wanna pick up an S550 Mustang, a 2015 to 2017 EcoBoost Mustang with the stick shift would probably be your best bet. It's a lot of fun to drive. It's really good on the autocross course. It's really good in a straight line. Um, obviously the auto is gonna be a little bit quicker in a straight line, but they respond really well to mods, a good intercooler, a downpipe, cold air intake, and a, and a good quality tune to back all that up. You're really gonna get some power out of it. I mean, look at our Q350 EcoBoost, for example. We take that out on the autocross course all the time. We take it out on the road course at Sebring. It's been all over the place and it beats up on 1LE Camaros, it beats up on GT350s, and it even beat a stock Mach 1 as well. I mean, it's really impressive what that car is able to do. Um, it's a full bolt-on stock turbo build, so it's a rate around 300 to the wheels in terms of horsepower and just under 400 foot-pounds of torque. Absolutely no slouch for a, a light Mustang like that and uh, with the right modifications, you can really beat up on some V8s. I know a lot of you who watch our videos and subscribe to our channel may not own a Mustang, but just are very interested in Mustangs looking to eventually get their first Mustang. I've owned the 2015 EcoBoost Performance Package Mustang. It's your, it's your gateway drug into Mustangs. It's a perfect first Mustang. It's not too much power to get you into trouble, but it's enough to uh, really beat up on some V8s with the right modifications and you have some fun doing it and eventually you make the upgrade to a GT or fully build out the four cylinder. I mean, the opportunities are endless. Next up is your best handling bang for the buck. So if you're looking to carve up some road courses, you're looking to get on some autocross courses, things like that, you have a little bit more budget to spend. A 2018 plus GT Performance Package 2 is probably your best bet. If you don't have that much budget, but you're still looking to go towards that handling side of the coin, uh, you're looking at a 2020 high performance package EcoBoost. It has a lot of the internals in the engine from the Focus RS, so you get a boost in torque. It even has the Pirelli P0 Corsa 4 summer tires on it, so you really can carve up those autocross courses. Now, keep in mind those Pirellis come with the handling package, so if you were to go towards that high performance package EcoBoost route, make sure you pick up one with the handling package as well. But honestly, if you're looking for handling bang for the buck, you really can't beat the GT Performance Package Level 2. It has those really wide 19 by 10 and a half wheels up front, 19 by 11 in the rear with a 305 square Pilot Sport Cup 2 tire. Again, it doesn't get much stickier than that for road going Mustangs. Now, it doesn't have the coolers like the 350 or the Mach 1, but again, you really be able to knock up on some really quick cars. Now, depending on whether you go the EcoBoost High Performance Package with Handling Package route or the GT Performance Package Level 2, you're looking at a Magnaride car. First thing you're gonna wanna get are those dual rate springs from Steeda. They really complement the Magnaride. They work great on the 350s. They work great on the Mach 1s and any Magnaride equipped vehicle. Uh, we also run these on our 2018 HPDE car out on track down south in Pompano. We have a whole video on those if you wanna learn more about them, so be sure to check out our channel. In addition to that, all the IRS components, but that pretty much goes for any S550 Mustang. Again, the Magnaride dual rate springs are the way to go for sure, especially when it comes to handling. Okay, next up, your best drag bang for the buck when it comes to the S550 Mustang, without a doubt, base model 2018 Mustang GT with the 10R80 automatic transmission. You are literally not gonna get any better than your entry level S550 for the 2018 with that 10 speed automatic. I mean, this thing flies. It was the base car for the Silver Bullet Mustang, which currently holds the world record, which I'm sure you all know about. It is a perfect platform to start building off of, getting that car to start with and just take the modifications from there. The Gen 3 Coyote breathes incredibly well, especially when you add one of those 
turbo jet intake manifolds or the closed lid Steeda cold air intake. Again, this car takes the modifications really well. Back when this car was new, when the 2018 first came out, our friend Evan Smith actually took one of these down the quarter mile at 1188, I believe, 118. Um, at 119 mile an hour in totally bone stock form. That's literally, I believe, a second quicker than you would expect out of a 15 to 17 GT with the automatic. It just really goes to show how incredibly efficient that 10 speed 10R80 automatic transmission is. Then you get rolled on the mods, you get some air breathing into that engine, you get some exhaust on there, a tune that's able to calibrate correctly for the shift tables on that 10 speed automatic. Again, you're going to be rolling into the 11s, into the 10s pretty quickly, even on a naturally aspirated build. Next up is your best overall bang for the buck S550 Mustang. This is for the person who likes to go to car meets and pop their hood, likes to go to an autocross, likes to go to the occasional drag day, maybe even a track day or HPD event. They do a little bit of everything. Um, in my personal opinion, this was a tough one to choose, but you really can't go wrong with a 15 to 17 GT with the manual transmission and the performance package. You're gonna get the best of all worlds. You get the stick shift, so you can really enjoy shifting through those gears, although it's not as fast as 10 speed, but again, this is for somebody who does a little bit of everything. You're gonna want that stick shift on the road course. You're gonna want that stick shift in autocross. Uh, and in a drag strip, you can still do pretty good times considering uh, you're rowing your own gears. Now, if you come up against a 2018 with the automatic, you might wanna reconsider, but Outside of that, you're really gonna be able to get the most out of your experience if you do a little bit of everything with a 15 to 17 GT and the performance package with those nice Brembo brakes. And just to show you how good that platform is, this is actually the same exact platform, 2015 to 17 GT manual with the performance package that we built our yellow 20 car off of. Now granted, the yellow 20 car has a ton of modifications done to it. We were actually recently racing against some Porsche GT4 Cup Club Sport Cup cars out on track. I mean, it, it, these, these things are purpose built with, without VIN numbers. And I mean, it's, it's insane what that 20 car is able to do in comparison to some 200, $250,000, $300,000 cars. But I digress, it's a great platform to start off of and it really takes well to modifications. The S550 in general takes well to modifications, but specifically for this platform, you get a good short throw shifter, you get that positive engagement from a triax shifter. You get some aftermarket wheels and tires to help free up some of that rotating mass and get power down to the ground. And in addition, you're looking at some two-piece rotors, again, to free up that rotating mass at every corner of the car. Uh, and help some thermal capacity too uh, by the wider veins in those rotors in comparison to the stock ones. Overall, every single one of these cars are a great bang for the buck option when it comes to S550 Mustangs and what you intend on doing with those cars. But if money isn't an object, then we've got something for you as well. Now, if you're looking at the handling side and money's no object, then in my opinion, you're looking at a Mach 1 handling package car, something that's really gonna be able to take those corners. It's brand new, it's got all the best things that you can get out of a premium GT and the GT350. Um, again, you really can't go wrong with the Mach 1 handling package as a base car to start with before you start adding your modifications. Brand new, you got the premium luxury side, and on top of that, the performance enhancements from the 350, like the coolers, uh, the trans cooler, the oil cooler, the rear diff cooler super wide uh, tires all the way around, 315 cup twos in the rear, 305s up front. If you uh, are looking at that handling side, a GT350 is a great option as well. Now on the drag side and the road course side and pretty much anything you wanna do with that car, GT500. You're gonna get 760 horsepower right from the factory that's supercharged 5.2 liter V8. Um, I mean, it does everything great. Even on the Pilot Sport 4S tires, we've seen those out on track and they handle incredibly well, even without the Cup 2s. Now you wanna up the ante, get the carbon fiber track package with that big GT4 style wing on the back, the splitter wickers and the carbon fiber wheels. I mean, it's, it's a track built car. The dual clutch transmission, yeah, sure, you're not rowing your own gears, but who cares? That thing shifts incredibly fast, whether you're going in a straight line in drag mode, or it's predicting your next gear change as you're breaking in, coming into your next turnout on track. 
That about wraps things up, and I'll be honest, I wanna hear what you guys think. Please comment below and let us know what you think the best bang for your buck S550 Mustang is. When you do get that S550 Mustang, don't forget, Stita.com is the place to be when it comes for Mustang parts for your S550 Mustang or 79 to current, as well as other Ford vehicles as well. Go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, and that notification bell so you get the notification on your phone next time a Stita video drops. And don't forget the most important thing, speed matters.